Evernote TC. Security just got easier. What is Evernote TC? Evernote TrueCrypt Launcher. It combines both Evernote and TrueCrypt together so that you can have an encrypted database. So it gives you security, encryption of Evernote database. What does it do? It automates the mounting of your TrueCrypt volume that contains your Evernote database, thus giving you full encryption for your Evernote database. It also automates the using of key pass with TrueCrypt and encryption together. One password to control them all. So let's take a look and see how this all works together. In order to encrypt the Evernote database, we will need an encrypted container. Evernote TrueCrypt Launcher is designed to work with TrueCrypt. The next thing we will need to do is create a TrueCrypt volume that will hold our Evernote database. So up we bring TrueCrypt. We're going to click on Create Volume. Now we want to choose Create an Encrypted File Container. We're going to create a standard TrueCrypt volume. We have to select a file which is not yet created. I'm going to just create it inside of Documents. Create a new folder and I'm just going to call it TC for now. Now this can be a file anywhere on your system that you choose. On any drive or partition it won't really matter. It's just as long as it's accessible when you need uh, Evernote to be accessible. Okay, so let's just call this Evernote.tc and again this can be any name as well. It doesn't have to end with TC. You could just as well call it private.file. It wouldn't matter at all as far as TrueCrypt is concerned. Okay, let's click Save. I'm going to go Next and then we can set uh, any other encryption options that we choose. I'm going to go Next. And so we're going to need this file to be big enough to hold our Evernote files, whatever the database size would be. For longevity, I would consider making it maybe 5 gigs. So we're going to go with that right now. I mean, if you don't use your Evernote a lot, certainly a smaller value would be okay. Also, in another tutorial, we're going to go over how to expand the TrueCrypt volume. So if you needed your volume to be bigger later down the road, we could certainly accommodate that. Okay. We want to choose 5 gigs. We're going to go next. We want to put our password in. We want to retype our password. And it's going to pop up a little error here. I should say a warning because my password is not that long. So we're just going to say yes to that. I would recommend a nice long password. So are there going to be any large files on here larger than 4 gigabytes? No. And this is important right here. We want to choose NTFS unless there's a good reason not to because later on down the road if you decide that you want to expand your volume it will need to be an NTFS format to do that with the current tools we have available so that being said choose NTFS unless there's a good reason not to now within this window we're going to want to move the mouse around quickly to randomize the data alright just gonna keep going here a little bit so now that we've done that click on format TrueCrypt is going to start formatting the volume, so we'll pause the video and come back when it's near the end. Alright, the volume is about done here. Just got a couple of seconds left as we're coming to the end of this volume format. And here we go. The TrueCrypt volume has been successfully created. Okay, so go next. Next, this takes us back to the uh, create a new volume so we don't need any more volumes. Now this part here is important that we mount our volume to whatever drive letter we would want it to be permanently because we're going to tell Evernote to move all the files over there and it's going to have that location. That being said, let's choose drive R. I like that one. I'm going to select my file that I just created. I'm going to go into my TC folder. I'm going to choose my Evernote TC file. And then I'm going to click on Mount. We're going to be asked for our password to mount our volume. And so there's our volume mounted on Drive R currently. And you can see where the path is that it's sitting and all that stuff. And we have a 5 gig file. So we're going to launch Evernote. I'm just going to get it off my desktop here. 
Once we get into Evernote and you're logged into your account, you want to go into Tools, Options, and under the General section in the Options, this is where sorry, the Evernote lo local files are located. So right now you can see that they're in the App Data folder for the current logged on user. And we want to change that. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose Drive R. We're going to create a new folder. We're just going to call it Evernote. And we're just going to click OK. And now it becomes R Evernote. So we're going to click OK to that. And then Evernote should go ahead and change the files over. If I open up TrueCrypt and double click on that entry, it'll take us over to the folder. You see Evernote, and Evernote has put its files into here. So from now on, whenever Evernote is running, we'll need Drive R mounted. And this is where the Evernote TrueCrypt launcher comes in. So let's go to that now. All right. Let's close down Evernote. And we're going to exit it. And then we're going to close this one. Do not show this message again. Evernote typical um, disable clipping functionality and whatnot. So I'm just going to shut that off. All right. I want to dismount the volume here right now because we have to go set up our Evernote TrueCrypt launcher. So in my downloads folder, I downloaded install Evernote TC version 0 0.9 from Big Byte Technologies. So head over to there to get the install file. So it's a fairly straightforward install. I'm just going to double click and then click on Next. Accept the agreement. Next. And it installs to the default folders just fine. Evernote TC is fine. Install. Okay, we'll launch it now that we're finishing as well. So this brings up uh, a new icon in our tray here. If we look here, we have some options, and one of them is settings. So I'm going to click on settings, and there's a couple things that we need to set for this to work properly. So one thing we're going to need to set is the drive location, which is the, we chose R, so Evernote expects it to see in drive R. Also, the Evernote TC here is going to want to know where is the location of TrueCrypt. In this case, it's going to be on the computer, on Drive C, in Program Files, and it's going to be under TrueCrypt. So the TrueCrypt EXE file, and we'll choose that. Now, if you used a portable version of TrueCrypt, that's just fine. Just point this to your portable version. Because in some cases, we could be carrying this on our laptop. The locations are encrypted. So this is why you're going to see this in a password format here. Also, in any other places that it's held on the computer, it will also be encrypted. Okay, the next thing we want to know is where is the volume that we're using. So we remember, we put it in TC, Evernote TC. And of course, it's going to want to know how to launch Evernote. So let's go find Evernote. And there it is, which is located in our C program files 86, Evernote, Evernote subfolder. All right, just so you can see where that is. Also, there's options for KeePass, which uh, we'll cover in another tutorial. But KeePass allows you to store your accounts and other passwords into a, its own encrypted file, which I highly recommend if you don't use some sort of a password manager that you would use KeePass, being that it's open source and everything. So we'll cover more about that in another tutorial, about how to use KeePass with this. But in this case, we're going to not use KeePass. And, okay, down in our settings here, we have an idle timeout. If we turn this on, after a certain amount of time of the computer being inactive, so if we chose 5 here, it would be 5 minutes, then Evernote will be shut down and the encrypted drive will be dismounted. That way, if you leave Evernote open and you walk away from your computer, no worries if you have other people that are around walking up to your computer and getting into your Evernote. That's an option there. And we have a launch shortcut key, which by default is Control-Alt-E. But you can certainly change that to some other one if you chose. Just click in the box, hold down the shortcut key combination that you want. We're going to turn off Allow Key Pass because we're not using it right now. And click OK. And that's going to be it. Close this window. And we can close, well, we'll leave it open for now just for demonstration. You'll see in our systems tray, we have our launcher, which is always going. We can come up here and we can click on Launch Evernote. 
or we can simply hit our control alt e which is our shortcut for launching so I just do that up it comes it's going to want our password so we'll type in our password click OK and up comes Evernote and as you see here our volume gets mounted into Drive R automatically now if I come up to Evernote and I exit you see the volume gets dismounted automatically so it makes a nice simple way to have encryption so other people can't get into your Evernote also I want to go over another option here come back to the settings and if we turn on an idle timeout so let's say five minutes click OK now when we come back to our launcher here you see there's an option here to suspend Evernote timeout whenever a timeout is set you have an option here to suspend it so what will happen is if you launched Evernote so up comes Evernote and for whatever reason you decided you know what I don't want this to time out right now but I don't want to go change all the settings the easy way to do it is come down to the launcher and click on suspend Evernote timeout as long as Evernote is running and you don't shut it down the suspend timeout will hold and you can just come in and resume it at any time if you chose you want to resume it by clicking on resume Evernote timeout but if you close Evernote exit and so everything becomes undone. All right. And then go back in. The resume automatically goes uh, is turned off and now you can suspend again. So it's just last while Evernote is running for that one time. It's a real convenience if you need it. Also it's worth noting that after you install Evernote TrueCrypt Launcher that it will automatically launch with your system every time you start it after that. Going forward you'll just simply need to hit Control alt e or whatever your shortcut is to launch your Evernote. And finally if we closed Evernote with Evernote closed Evernote TrueCrypt Launcher will monitor the Evernote keyboard shortcuts that are registered when the program is installed no matter what that keyboard shortcut happens to be such as a new note which is control alt n on the keyboard if Evernote is not running and you hit that keyboard shortcut then it will be launched let's give a demonstration here hit control alt n for a new note and automatically it comes up and asks us to put in our password which we shall do and then Evernote starts and here's our new note 